All right, guys, welcome back to another video by DFW Gunworks. Today, I'm going to just review and go back over some quick aspects of the LifePod 2.0 um, gun safe. This is the bigger gun safe other than the small one. Um, the size is obviously uh, twice the size. I don't have the small one with me, but uh, it is about thinner and it is smaller. Um, probably cuts out about here. Um, it does fit from smaller pistols, not necessarily full-size pistols. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and review this one real quick for you guys. I know the first video, the table was a little dark. It was a little hard to see. Um, I apologize for that. I'm going to try and uh, film on the white background from now on to make sure you guys can see everything. Um, and we will go from there. But let's go ahead and uh, waste no more time. Let's dive right in. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and go through exactly what I did in the unboxing. Just a little bit quicker, uh, fast paced, so you guys can see everything uh, on the white background and with better quality. Inside the box, you're going to have your, like, your instruction manual. Oh, uh, it's stuck on there. Instruction manual. Uh, this LifePod 2.0 uh, tray, and a, a lot of you all have been asking about the tray. The tray is, I think, a little bit more for the single stack style pistols. Um, I do have two uh, double stack uh, pistols here, a P09C and a P10, or P09 and a, P, uh, a P10C, and they are not able to fit in this um, this tray here. Uh, let's see. Okay, and this tray here uh, with the, with the shutting uh, comfortably. Now I do have some room here. I can force it, but I want to force that shut. So uh, it is definitely definitely uh, designated for single stack style pistols. Um, other than that, you can. You don't really need to keep this in the LifePod 2.0. And then you have some Velcro straps uh, in case you want to like tie this down. Other than that, I don't really, I don't really use the Velcro straps. So uh, a lot of the Velcro straps can be used to uh, lace through here, through the tray. If you want to hold things down so they won't move, uh, keys, wallet, in case you want to put it in your backpack. So if it does uh, fall down or something like that, nothing goes goes flying everywhere, but uh, I won't see that point that happening. So. Um, other than that, I did talk to you guys about the padding that the 2.0 comes with. I know it was difficult to see in the last video, so I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see here. So I do have, it does come with three. One, two, three. There is a thick one uh, that is does have the um, bubble style perforation on it. And there's two thin ones, real thin, real thin, paper thin, not paper thin, but uh, about half the size. And they also are uh, able to be used to pad um, the inside of the, of the LifePod. So on the LifePod 2.0, this is the way I keep mine uh, at all times, just in case, because you never know when you're going to need the cable, which it does come with the cable. So I stick the cable on the bottom. I do have all three pads in here, but I think recently um, I've got some room. So I'm actually just, uh, just going to have the the one pad, the big one here, but for for the sake, I'm just going to show you guys how I'm keeping it here. Um, I'm going to throw the magazines in so you guys can see how I, exactly it fits. It does lean a little bit. It looks kind of funky, but it's going to have, help put pressure on the guns to stay still. So, um, that one's clear. So, I'll put this up here. And stick this this way. Bang, bang, just like that. It's going to fit. Both of them are going to fit inside there. Um, it does shut safely. I will recommend, and I think LifePod, too, uh, LifePod does recommend, to make sure that these sides are clamped down first. Boom. And boom. And then after that, you can go ahead and lock your LifePod. Little green light, there. Little green light here will designate that LifePod is locked. Therefore, when you try to open it up, it won't open. So um, these, these uh, two... Um, snap down um braces here will help keep the life pod waterproof there was a, there was a red rubber seal inside there um, when i did open it up so that will help keep that um kind of waterproof um to unlock your uh life pod basically it's pretty simple uh, i'm you go ahead and hit the lock button here and you put in your passcode. Uh, you can you can put your passcode anywhere from uh, four digits to eight digits. So it's not always just going to be a four digit passcode. Uh, it could be something like one one two two three three four four eight digits, or something as simple as one one two two. Whatever you guys choose, whatever you guys want. If you think it's going to be kind of difficult to get into or easy to get into with four digits, you can pick five or six. So it really is up to you, uh, up to whatever you want to uh, to put it, put yours in. It doesn't unlock there. After it unlocks, it takes the pressure off the lock here. Then you can lock the straps here. Open it up, and you're all set. Um, so it is, like I said, it was a pretty um, pretty uh, simple uh, 
thing once I got once you get in a box everything does kind of play out the way um, you think it would easy to use uh, I will say like I said in the previous video it does not come with the battery and the battery does go down in here um, down this little there's a little uh, little area this little gut this little um, 9 volt battery door does come off 9 volt battery goes in there close it and then you're good to go you will have to buy that ahead of time so just a heads up I did not buy mine in my first video so I couldn't really show you guys how it worked but it does have a light the light it doesn't always come on in your life pod you have to engage it um, and to engage it I believe you uh, hold down the lock button and then one and four at the same time and then that will engage the light so that way whenever you open up your life pod um, let's see if it opens it right the light will kick on so it's good to have in, in, in night uh, time situations. Um, other than that, guys, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick rundown of the LifePod 2.0 in a better uh, lighting environment. Um, I will say in reviewing the LifePod 2.0, I absolutely love the LifePod 2.0. I use it all the time. I stole my guns in there. Um, and the cable is a 48-inch uh, cable, so it's four feet worth. I can tie it down to anything. And all you have to really do, it's got a loop here. So you just loop it through, and then uh, this metal bar here will attach into the corner. Just like that and then when you shut your life pod it's stuck so whatever you decide to raise it to um, it will stay um, because it came with the cable you can lock it down to the inside of your car you can lock it down to a bed frame if it's in your room if you want to keep it in your room just like a small safe you can lock it down to just about anything as long as what is going to be locked down to does not move then I think you're pretty good so um but to sum it up uh life pod 2.0 great product uh again just reviewing it here and also this is the waterproof gasket i was talking to you guys about but Thanks again for tuning in to a video by DFW Gunworks. Please subscribe, like. Um, I'll be coming um, out with another video here pretty soon. And pretty soon, I mean, in the next two to three days. Um, I did just recently um, add the uh, Talon grips here onto the CZP-10C. It is great. I fired with it, and it feels way different. It sounds kind of dumb. Uh, you know, putting a, just something as simple as grip tape, make, being able to make you a better shooter. But uh, having that grip tape on there does matter. I will say 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, just got in the HB Industries trigger. This is the stock trigger. I will be doing an unboxing, uh, <clears throat> the review and an install of the HB trigger um, for you guys here pretty soon. That'll be the next video. And then I also did receive in um, a, a JP Enterprises uh, SCS buffer spring. So that will be also a review as well. But thank you guys for tuning in. Um, again, LifePod 2.0, outstanding. And you guys take it easy. Happy New Year. And I'll catch you guys next time.